Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We had a room form come in with some pictures of a room and I thought this would be a good opportunity to walk through uh, good instincts but wrong treatment types, okay? So let's look at the difference. High resolution gear, I think our dimensions in this room, 17, 10, 23, so favorable for two channel listing. Good instincts here, he adds to treat the surface, but let's look at some of the pictures here. Let's look at the setup first, the subs. Why would you put a subwoofer next to a speaker? Subwoofer is a high energy, low frequency producing device. The speaker is also full range energy producing device. Why would you put two of those things together? From a vibrational standpoint, just from an amplitude energy standpoint, not to mention frequency and resolution. I want to find the place in the room where the subwoofer fits best, not next to the front channel speakers. Okay, so we don't want that. Sidewall reflections. Three, primary, secondary, tertiary. We only see one treated with a very thin panel. That's never going to address the frequencies on that reflection. It's never going to address the amplitude. And it's never going to provide the proper rate to manage the primary, secondary, and tertiary reflections. And we need to extend that treatment. Remember, if this is the speaker, we need to extend the treatment all the way down past the listening position to get all three reflections. Remember, there's primary, secondary, and tertiary. Look at this graphic. You can see how they work. Primary starts on one wall, travels across the room, becomes a secondary. Secondary travels back to its original source wall, tertiary. All three of those time signature reflections must be managed if you're going to get a strong center focus. Ceiling treatment. Corners along the room boundary surfaces, but the biggest place, the best place to put low frequency management is right over the listening position. You want to manage the pressure over the position that you're listening to music at. I don't know what's in these units, but I'm assuming they're full of building insulation. I think it's a safe assumption. Okay, it's the wrong treatment type for pressure. It's not gonna manage pressure. You would need a panel feet thick to manage any kind of pressure, and then you still wouldn't get enough. So wrong treatment type up there. Front wall, we have two-dimensional diffusion. For two-channel listening room, one-dimensional diffusion is much better. You'll get a wider sound stage, you'll get improved resolution, and you'll get a taller sound stage. So use one-dimensional in two-channel rooms. Front wall and rear wall. Keep the side walls absorptive. You can go diffusion on the ceiling if budget and space permit, but I don't know if there's that big of an acoustical gain. Once again, it depends on ceiling height. Unfortunately, the lower ceiling heights probably respond better to diffusion than higher ones because higher ones have distance going for them already. Remember, diffusion is a technology to make a small room sound larger. If you already have distance, you have a bigger sound. So the lower ceiling heights really benefit from diffusion. If you can give up, nine inches for a prime 11 and 12 inches for a prime 13. So we also on the ceiling or the front wall, we should have more surface area coverage. Run it completely across the front wall, floor to ceiling, and you'll have a much better result there. All right, so when I get calls like this from people that have spent a lot of money on treatment, and I can tell immediately it's not even close to the resolution that, that you can achieve with matching the proper treatment, surface area coverage, and rate and level. And our products do that. Boxes filled with building insulation do not. 
So I always ask clients, you know, why, why did you call us? You have very nice gear, your room is a good size, your treatment's up, you should be very happy. Well, I'm not, okay? I'm not, ha I'm not satisfied. They all say this, there's something missing. They can't put their finger on it, and that's the reason for the call. Well, I know what's missing. You know, they don't have the right treatment for the low end. They don't have the right treatment for the mids and highs, and they don't have enough of it. The mids and highs, front and rear wall diffusion, low frequency management, they're not using pressure-based technology. You have to. And in all cases, using diffusion and absorption, they're not covering enough surface area. So here's a situation where we had good instincts, wrong treatment type. Wish we could have got to you sooner, we could have helped you out. Now what's the decision? Get rid of what I have and start over. That's expensive. So I think in this case, we're gonna go with low frequency management first, get that under control like we always recommend, leave the diffusion in place for now and deal with the sidewall management issues. If we get the pressure under control, the sidewall reflection issues, primary, secondary, and tertiary, the two-dimensional diffusion on the front wall will function better. Won't be as good as one, but it'll, it'll improve. Good instincts, wrong treatment type. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.